Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some triangle strategy where we left off. We we're ready. We're about to head into uh, Central Hyzant to secure the secret ledger. To hopefully uh, get the evidence we need to indict Sorcely and get the Hierophant on our side. Um, it looks like somebody's chunk on this try and stop us. We're going to see how this plays out. Anna. That's what I'm talking about. We may have stolen our way inside easily enough, but now the true trial begins. Everyone, spread out. We must find that ledger. This be it. This is the date Anna researched. Then this must be the amount of salt produced and the amount supplied to the consortium and the discrepancies between the two all noted here. This is it. Sourcelay's secret ledger. Plainly stamped with house and seal, no less. Even this is everything we need. Won't be able to explain this away. We're lucky he's just as meticulous with his criminal dealings as his official ones. Swindlers expect to be swindled, my lord. I expect he kept these records because he didn't trust the others not to try and skim off the top. How ironic they'll be his very undoing. Intruders, halt! None but Minister Sorcelay himself may touch that ledger. Added secret ledger to notes. We only have ten in here. That's kind of annoying. Um, I don't want her. It's recommending these two, but I don't want them. I kind of want Archibald, but I don't know who to sacrifice for Arch Archibald. Understood. It, uh, I done. think we're going to do that. Um, do that, I th think. Sure. Row with that. I hope that we'll be okay. The Battle of House End. It's time to end House End. They think to trap us here, then we must cut our way out. Don't let any of them escape. Wrap them up all night. Yes, sir! Take care, my lord. It would be easy to let oneself get surrounded in this chaos. Of course. I'll get this leisure out of here. One. Forward! Alright. Um. My turn. Go straight for the archer. Slumber stab? Could put an enemy to sleep for two turns. Just stab him. Although that's a very cool ability. 
They shouldn't even be here. Sorcei must have known we'd come. I'm gonna push you back to help. This is where you fall. Cause we can um Here I come. We can try and Here bottleneck uh, whoever comes toward them. But it looks like they're all coming toward us too, which kinda sucks, I not gonna lie. Um Get up here. Wait. I've been waiting for this. I used now on him, didn't I? He was supposed to go next. What? So I'm pretty sure. Archibald. Let me show you what I've learned. With the powers in me. Now then, to work. Defeat is not an option. Oh, did I use the the go twice move? I might have used the go twice move. I did use the go twice move. Okay. That's fine. I'll kill one of them at least. Alright. He's level 18, Captain. Oof. Your orders? That's pretty dang high. I'd like to get the rest of the team down here, if I can. I don't like us being this separated. I really don't. Annoying. Da, 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 da. Here I come. Oh, I'm I'm afraid like I won't be able to. And they'll have to just try and hold out for now. He's got a lot of archers, which sucks. Um, cool heads shall prevail. I'll try and pull everyone back a bit. Allow me. I owe you. Ow. I see a path to victory. Let us reverse our fortune. Time for some research. Out! Allow me. Knowing that he could just shoot right over like that, but okay. Blazing chains. Stay right there. It's like I'm up. <laughs> Forward. Gotta keep my wits about me. What's the rush? Really? Y'all just immediately double backing for me. That's annoying. Ah, what? Dude. Come on! Stop! Time for some research. Come on! 
I shall try my level best. Please do. This is ridiculous. Let us reverse our fortunes. I shall do what I can. Um, can you get close enough? No, you can't. I hate it here. All right, just heal her then. Allow me. I need like one more turn to be able to heal my dude. What would father do? Uh, you're gonna just heal yourself for now. I need this. Stand like that. Ow. No need to panic. I'm panicking. Panicking pretty hard right now. We need to take care of this healer. Allow me. As much as it kind of sucks that I have to divert a bit. Really? You're going to keep boosting their strength? I, will end this. I hate this dude so much. Thank you. Flash of steel. Back at this one's mine. The hunt is on. Not another step. Ow. I've been waiting for this. Oh, I missed, thank God. Oh, no, I'm dead. I think that's the end of it, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Alright, I was worried for a second. I thought that would be the end. That's annoying, though, man. I wanted him to live. You can kill him. There you go, Benedict. Let me heal your wounds. Man, and she could have got close enough to with just one more damn turn. Be at ease. My utmost thanks. I fight for peace. So all I needed was one turn. Blaine, heed my call. Now then. My turn. Must be damning evidence indeed for Source Lay to have stationed so many guards to protect his encampment. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are. Thank you. Uh, Allow me. Hey, Ms. Mr. Healer. Or Mrs. Healer. You clearly want to die. You do, you two do as well. That victory is within reach. That sounds strike. 
Allow me. There. Hurts, don't it? Charge. I'm about to come back down and just kill him. There you go. This battle is ours. Take that. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease, much obliged. I've been waiting for this. So many damn archers, man. Swear. Allow me. Blaine, heed my call. Time for some research. Free. Your orders. Allow me sound strike. Sound strike. Victory is not yet out of reach. Um. Go get Anna. Time to work. Take this dude out. Hopefully. Allow victory is within reach. Victory is within reach. Ugh, so close. Allow me. How dare you heal yourself? Prolonging the inevitable here. Come at me. These foes are not to be trifled with. My turn. This is where you fall. No need to panic. Here I come. Shall we begin? This archer really thinks he's, he's getting away. Where was I? Victory is not yet out of reach. We must stay vigilant. Time to take flight. Look at him, just running. I've been waiting for this. You guys chill. Out. He ain't getting away. Time to work. No need to panic. It's nothing personal. Bastard. The evidence we need. Now we must hurry to Minister Campsell. Now 
Not a step further, Wolfort. I am not so kind a master as to let betrayal go unpunished. You are no master of mine. Bastard! Give me the ledger or I will take it by force. So, that ledger is what all the fuss is about. Hey, Camsel. Hell yeah. Camsel! What are you doing here? This encampment falls under my purview. Indeed, but upholding justice falls under mine. Here, Minister. I think you'll find the contents of this ledger most illuminating. Will I? I shall be the judge of that. Stop! Close that ledger! You have no grounds to pry into my affairs! Such unsightly behavior, Minister Sorsley. You're too late. The Mongols already seized your treasure. Exam! You masterminded this plot! You... You two-faced cur! So, you were the one who passed me the information. I did what was necessary to protect Hyzat, but credit for this success must go to you, Minister Kamsa. <laughs> well, this is coming with me. God his ass. I, 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 he just, despite knowing most of the saintly seven might. Right into his hands, I... Yeah. Perhaps. But we secured Hyzan's trust nevertheless. Knowing that, like, the Saintly Seven are shady as AF, like, badly shady as fuck. Um, Sorcely in particular just seemed like he needed to get out. That, I should think, is worth its weight in gold. Hell yeah. Indeed, my lord. Now all there's left to do is await the Hierophant's judgment. <sighs> hope he can side with us or help us or something sorcery end you will hear the hierophant's judgment appropriating salt blessed by the goddess to fill your own coffers is tantamount to sacrilege therefore sorcery end you are to make two sacrifices to the goddess in penance the first is your position in the Saintly Seven. The second is your life. Damn. Wait, wait, please. Gonna execute him. I can explain. Forgive me. Have mercy. Oh my gosh. Rip. With these sacrifices, wrongs have been righted. May the goddess be pleased. You have our deepest gratitude. The carelessness of men completed. That wasn't that bad. I am still kind of mad that uh, they took out Serenella, but the rest of the team did work.
That same day, word spread throughout Hyzant of Sorslay End's demise, and that of House End along with him. Lila reacts to news of Sorsley's passing. Da, 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 ba. I understand Sorsley End is with the goddess now. What a pity. He has been counted among the dead from the accident. Keep spinning those lies and soon they shall be tied around your neck. Though in truth, I'm surprised they've not done so already. Are you not pleased, milady? Shall I inform Minister Edor? Be my guest. Without me, all research grinds to a halt. My mind is without equal. But of course, Minister. I was only teasing. Would it kill you to smile for once? Be more aware of the words from your mouth. Remember, you are not but Edor's pawn. Forgive me. Where are my manners? Now pray, return to your precious research. See that you complete it, for you know who. <laughs> I know full well who it serves. We're all pawns in the end. Serenor's party barely has a moment to collect their brush before a new challenge is laid before them. So, Lord Serenor, what shall you do now? Well, I shall speak plainly. The Holy One wishes to aid House Wolford. Thank you, Your Holiness. Your house is known throughout all Norzelia, and rightly so, given the vital land you control. It would be quite the blow if Esfrost's aggression spelled the end of your domain. The Hierophant tells me a seat amongst the saintly seven shall be yours, should you desire it. And I would not hesitate to accept it if it meant securing peace for my people. Then perhaps we can find common ground. The Hierophant, however, has a concern. I would hear it. The Roselle living in your domain. <sighs> they are descendants of the sinners who dwell at the source. That is their proper place. There they offer themselves to the goddess in the hopes they may one day atone for their sins. The Hierophant longs to see them return to their rightful home. You would have me surrender them to you. It is not my place to make demands. I am merely to deliver unto you the word of the Hierophant. And so I have done. Damn. He wants us to give up the village that's living in our domain. I can't do that. You crazy. <sighs> Man. Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? My father, as well, likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, my friends, I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you decided? Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. 
Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcely's corpse. You've got some nerve. I speak from experience when I say that the title of saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled. The blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed. Poor options, both. A reward for betrayal. <sighs> I can't take the saintly seat, man. I can't give them up. That's like too ridiculous of a of a choice to make. In his time, Lord Simon protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant, and the village they established within the Wolfort domain. Thirty years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. To secure the Hierophant's goodwill and the subsequent protection of House Wolford, Zeranoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Thus, with House End ruined and a vacant position among the saintly seven to be filled, rumors of House Wolford's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. Oppressions under the sun. Damn it. I chose the wrong people to decide with. Man. Lord Saranoa, I believe it may be in our best interest to turn over the Roselle after all. But they fought so hard to escape, Hyzant. They would never agree to return. It would be a show of good faith to the Saintly Seven and secure House Wolford's safety. If the situation calls for force, well, we must be prepared, to borrow Minister Exham's words. I... I see. Give me time to think over the matter. Man... Where is Frederica? Why would they put me through this? Oh, she... She left for the source with Prince Roland. She said she wanted to see where the Roselle lived for herself. Ah. Uh, indeed, Byzantine law requires all Roselle to make their home at the source. She is most troubled over this, Lord Saranoa. Please, if you could... I understand. I will make for the source at once. Uh, Crown City. Is that Tellior? He's still alive. Tellior, I presume. I thought what's his name killed him. Who might you be? Someone who brings good tidings. An offer you may wish to consider. I am ruined. Who would want to offer me anything? It is Minister Edor's wish. Will you hear me out? One of the saintly seven? Then you are Hyzantian. My master is eager for your assistance, as you are quite close to House Wolford. Oh no. 
Some weird shit happening there too now. From the throne room of, of Whiteholm, Gustadolf begins the next stage of his plan. Thalus, thank you for making the necessary arrangements. No need to thank me. I am your Prime Minister, after all. I have made sure those with any power in Glenbrook understand their place. They will do as we command. Then everything is in place. It is time. Is there nothing I might do to aid you, brother? If there were, I would tell you. Hmm. And the Consortium, Thalos? Oh, I expect we shan't have any trouble from them. I have promised them a considerable sum to stay out of our way. Good. Now it is just a waiting game. I wonder how long the Hyzantians will last. Frederica makes her way to the source to see her fellow Rosels, but she's not going to like what she sees, I'm sure. Please, I'd only like to glimpse the goddess's sacred grounds for myself. It won't take but a moment. That may be, but outsiders are not permitted into the source for such frivolities. And you are Rosellen. You ought to understand the teachings better than anyone. <sighs> Frederica. Saranoa, forgive my impulsive behavior. There's nothing to forgive. I too wish to learn more of the Rosellen Hyzet. Not knowing would make my decision easier, but still I feel I must. Saranoa? From House Walfort? The very same. Lord Saranoa Walfort. The one who will assume control of the salt trade in short order, as House End once did. To that end, we are here today for a preliminary inspection of the grounds. So the rumors were true. Well, are you refusing the newest addition to the Saintly Seven entry into the source? <laughs> uh, of course not. Please, right this way. They just slave away cleaning this place forever. It's messed up, man. Like building this place or whatever. You Rosellan wretches, time for worship. Minister Edor of the Saintly Seven himself will be giving the sermon today. You should be thankful. Heed his word, and your sins shall be cleansed. Roselle, do you know why you are imprisoned at the source, condemned to toil? It is because your ancestors committed the most heinous of sins. Long, long ago, they schemed to seize control of the salt that the goddess bequeathed to the people of Norzelia. They seized the source for themselves, wresting every last grain of salt from other peoples, desperate for the resource. Using the salt they hoarded as a shield, 
they terrorized the land, destroying any who stood against them in their thirst for domination. Fanned by their greed, the flames of war long ravaged our land. Countless innocents lost their lives. What a terrible, arrogant people. Their cursed souls dwell within you, their progeny, to this very day. Indeed, the proof is in the very color of your hair. The same red as the blood that flowed from their countless victims. Our people sinned against the goddess. We are a detestable blight upon Norzelia. Oh, goddess of salt, please forgive us our sins. Forgive us. Just Do brainwashing, despair, man. For the goddess of salt <sighs> is ever merciful and kind. She grants even the worst of sinners, even you, a chance to atone. That atonement will only come through hard work here at the source. By quenching this earth with your sweat, by giving your lives to this labor, your cursed souls will be cleansed and welcomed back to the goddess's side. Only then, when your sins have been washed away, can you hope to be reborn into a pure body and once again walk upon Norzelia. People of the Roselle, Surrender your lives to the source and give your thanks to the great goddess. O oh, goddess of salt, for you I give myself, stained with sin as I am, to the source. Thank you for granting us the chance to atone. Thank you. Thank you. That is enough. Now take that gratitude and turn it toward your work. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is atonement? And the Rizal accept it as a fitting punishment? Even if that story Edor told is true, no sin warrants this kind of cruel retribution. Hyzant maintains control over Salt now. Are they then not guilty of the same crime? You are right. But this is as the Goddess of Salt commands, is it not? How do they know what the Goddess of Salt commands? I don't know. This is weird. Time to see for myself what goes on at the source. We need only follow the goddess's teachings in order to be absolved. I hope they give us water today. The treatment of the Roselles here is utterly inhumane. It's for real. It sucks, but we're like we're not going to be able to do to take up this position. I understand they've yet to replace the minister Sorcely as overseer, and so we lumber on a beast without a head, no one to issue orders should a crisis arise. It's hardly surprising he was one of the saintly seven that not replaced him so hastily. Rumors rumors swirl that they might call upon the Wolfert boy. I don't care if they pick my own mother, so long as this position is filled. So they would install me as overseer of the source if I can find my way into the saintly seven. I could I could give them better treatment. This cask weighs nothing when compared to the weight of our sins. Right? This is the only work I've ever known. It's all I'm fit for now. Many years ago, some of us tried to flee this place. None would dare dream of doing that now. Damn. They force young and old alike to toil in deplorable conditions and have the audacity to call it atonement. They don't even tend to those who collapse from exhaustion. They treat my people worse than criminals. It breaks my heart to behold such cruelty. I can scarcely imagine what it must be like to suffer through this.
Yes, this is the grisly secret beneath their claims, that all are equal before the goddess. The lie upon which the holy state is built, and it is a powerful state at that. Much as I agree, we cannot oppose them so easily. I can do it. I can carry the salt. How can the Holy State allow a man in his condition to continue working? Faster, faster. Ah, Lord Serenoa of House Wolford, I presume. I'm sorry you had to lay eyes on the Tainted Ones, but this is where the Roselles pay their penance. The Tainted Roselles are fated to live out their days working in the Source in the hopes they may one day atone for their sins. They are nothing like the rest of us. By the very nature of their birth, they are impure and lack integrity. Salt has brought prosperity to the Holy State. Why rely solely on the Roselles when everyone could aid in your harvest? Such would go against the Goddess's will. The Roselles are to work this land to atone for what they've done, and they'll not be disturbed. Yet higher yields of salt would benefit all Norzelia. We do well enough for ourselves with the current yields. Goddess be praised. She'll share her blessings with you if you come to count yourself among the faithful. But it won't change the fate of the Tainted Ones. than I imagined. Will you still send any Roselle in the Wolfort Domain here? Force them into a life like this? I... <sighs> it isn't right. It isn't just. I don't care that it would ensure our own safety. Indeed. It would be unforgivable. What is just is constantly in flux depending on the circumstances. That said... Protecting people is always the right thing to do. Wouldn't you agree, Saranoa? I feel the same as you both, but... <sighs> My apologies. I didn't mean to place all the blame on you. Still, we... We continue stumbling on the path before us. Sarah Noah and his retinue return to their domain, their every step weighed down by the heavy task Hyzant has placed upon them. Elsewhere, the newly restored kingdom of Glenbrook begins to take action under Queen Cordelia's leadership. The kingdom issues a joint proclamation with Esfrost against Hyzant halting all trade and severing diplomatic ties with the Holy State. Esfrost and Glenbrook signed an agreement denouncing Hyzant. Word only just arrived, and it is no mere rumor. They've issued a formal proclamation. Preposterous! Gustadolf must have forced Cordelia's hand. This is sure to make Hyzant see salt shipments to the Consortium. All this denouncement will do is hamstring Esfrost and Glenbrook both. My breath. Gustadolf does not fight battles he cannot win. I'm certain this is part of some greater ploy. I feel all of Norzelia stands on the precipice, but of what I cannot say. Each nation is making its move. We too must take action to secure our position before it's too late. 
By which you mean expelling the Roselle? To protect the Woolfort Domain and its people, no one would dare hold such actions against you. Lord Serenoa, you must make a decision. <sighs> I saw what it is truly like at the source. The Rosellen are forced into back-breaking labor. No decent man would condemn another to such a fate. But if we refuse the Hierophant, we will face the same dire consequences as House End. Should that happen, the Rizel would still be lost, would they not? Then you think it is right to sacrifice the Rosell to save Wolfort? No one is saying it is right, but a decision must be made. We must prioritize our own survival. That much should be clear. And survive we shall, if we can secure Hyzant's aid. Unless you know of another way? Saranoa, I beseech you, not as one with Roselle blood in her veins, but as a person, as a Wolfort. You cannot give up the Roselle to Hyzant. I appreciate each of your arguments, but we cannot debate this forever. It is time to decide. Once more to the scales of conviction. We need Hyzant's support if we are to reclaim Glenbrook. But it comes at a price. One the Roselle under our protection must pay. I don't want to make this choice. Man. Defend the Roselle, even if it affects relations with Hyzant. Deliver them to prove your loyalty. See, my, 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 my thought process is right. They're going to install me as the overseer of this place. So, maybe I can change things, you know? Let me talk to her. Bye. In that case... Surely. I need a moment to think. I'm scared. I don't want to let them go in there, but this is politics. If I could if 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 they give me the seat I think this is the right choice.
Hmm. Still. I lad. Are you joking? And so. Feel this in my gut. I hate this so much, dude. I'm gonna make another save. What if I indifferent everyone and then I let it I leave it up to chance? We must. That's a good idea, cause cause they gun breaking them did. They they're gonna need us. However, I am decided. Okay, I'm gonna leave this up to chance. What do you need? I've seen the harsh reality of the source for myself, and I could not subject my people to such a cruel yes, treatment. Yes, I see. I require some time. And who else? That's Anna, right? Lord Sarah. Even so, if so. Yes. I must hear what the others Okay. All right. I'm going with that. We're going to leave it up to chance. I'm scared. But it is time to cast our votes. We face a difficult decision. Approach the scales of I am sorry. But I will not be swayed. Okay, so he's for helping them. You make a convincing argument, my. Oh shit! F he's for. I am so sorry. I refuse to abandon my people. She's for. Okay. I agree wholeheartedly. I will follow the path of your convictions, my lord. I cannot agree to this. Just can't. The scales of conviction. And the scales have. I pleaded my case for both sides. And people chose. They chose to help them, I think, right? I'm pretty sure that's the help. Yeah. Only one person wanted to deliver the Roselles. The way forward is decided. Alright. The then Roselle we help. are our people. We must shelter them, even if it earns us Hyzant's ire. That's fine. I left it to chance. Chance ruled in the favor of helping. I suspected it would come to this. We have chosen our path, and now we must see it through. We will refuse to hand over the Roselle to Hyzant. <sighs> How this will play out for me, I don't know, but... 
guess we'll find out. I'm worried. I'm I'm straight worried for for my guy. I I hope I can sway this somehow in terms of like cuz Glenbrook and Ace Frost are now together and they're going to need help. Saranoa and company move to protect the Rosellan settlement. Noble as it may be, such an act of defiance toward Hyzant risks inviting the destruction of House Wolfort itself. To the bitter end. Hyzant will no doubt wish to ask questions of us. We can draw out the negotiations and buy some time. Time enough to find a way to break them. We have to inform the Rosal of the situation here. I'll send an envoy and have them sheltered in Castle Woolfort. Lord Saranoa, come at once. An army marches on the Rosalind village. Uh-oh. Be serious. Whose banner do they fly? We know not. And it matters not. We ride to their aid. Prepare for battle. That's for sure. Hi, Zant. Why? Why attack our village? Hierophant's orders were to return you to Hyzant. <laughs> Over my dead body! Damn. Right into a battle. Uh, okay. I'm gonna end this one here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I'm gonna. Oh, actually, you know what? We have another thing here. I uh, Edor has a private talk with someone in the Hierophant's palace. Did Silvio accept our offer? Indeed, he did. One glimpse of the reward set him on his way to the Wolfort domain. Then all is in order. Care to wager how House Wolfort will respond? Why bother? If they comply, we if make. If they comply, we make use if of them. Resist, if they resist, we crush, we crush them. them. Either way, we endure. How ruthless of you! I hate it here. <laughs> Everyone's out for themselves, but it's it 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 works. It's political drama. It, it's. Like, it's very Game of Thronesy. It all works together in tandem. Okay. Um, in the next part, guys, we, we had to try and protect the of our uh, in our domain. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to do more grinding because clearly I'm going to have to be, like, 20 at least. Um, anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.